Today we're removing tooth number seven. This, there's a ceramic crown on number seven, and it's fractured right here. It keeps, I guess it's broken to come off before. Um, so we're going to take this tooth out. If we can place an immediate implant, we're going to do that. But um, we also have a staple we're going to place in here. You can see there wasn't much holding that crown on. I'm going to fill some pressure. Doing all right? Mm-hmm. We choose this out. Okay, so we got the uh, tooth out and the stay plate in, and um, you can see that this, the tooth on the stay plate is, is a ridge lap. It's at least tooth colored and it doesn't have pink plastic, but then you know, whoever cut this tooth out really didn't cut it out in the shape of the gingival margin. So we'll be adding some um, composite to this area to fit over the implant. Not a symphony of this powder shape. Okay, so what I did is I just the stay plate. I added a little bit to this incisal edge. I added, added some to the base here so that it would support the papilla. And um, take a look at it and see how it looks. Okay, so we got this shaped so that it's supporting the papilla and the facial margin. And um, take a look at this in a couple of weeks. This is a two-week healing of the extraction and immediate implant in the number seven site, and we'll take a look at it with the state plate in next. This is a two-month healing of the immediate implant in the number seven area, and should be ready to go for the restoration in a month. This is the final restoration on the implant on tooth number seven. Okay, this is the 16 to 17 month follow-up of the...